What's Puff everybody, Jiggly here, and today I want to talk about a certain move that Puff has. So, what Jiggly Puff was considered to have two worthless specials being Rollout and what I'm talking about today being Sing. Now, Sing, I don't have the frame data up, but uh, it comes in three waves. First wave hits, I think it's frame 27, and it lasts until frame 31. No, it's frame 29 to frame 33. And then it's frame 72 to frame 75, and then frame 122 to frame 133, I think. It's something around there. But so, uh, the move takes 180 frames until I can stop. So, now, until, now. One Mississippi, two Mississippi, three Mississippi. So basically three seconds. It's 180 frames, so it's exactly three seconds. So that's why this move is considered so bad. Uh, it takes a bit, it takes half a second for it to even start. And it's really easy to mash out, like here. I, that wasn't, that would be without mashing at 0%. If I put him to sleep and I mash, I can get out before the move's even done. And I, I'm only mashing, I'm not even mashing very hard because of two controllers. Because I'm going to try to control both of these. But so, uh, one thing that Julie Puff can do is she can use Sing at, uh, she can cancel Sing with the ledge. And usually it's best to drop and then do it because you're safer because you can't get hit. But if you do it like that, you can't get as much range because not all of it will come out. But yeah. But yeah, like even just doing it like that, sometimes the move didn't even hit there. Okay, it hit there. But um, but yeah, uh, the move seems isn't good in general, but it is good being ledge canceled. No move that can be ledge canceled. In the f famous words of the reflex wonder, no move that can be edge canceled is unusable as he said once, but, so, one thing you can do is, on Battlefield only, that I've done it so far, you can do run off into Sing, but you can't do it too early, and you can't do it too late, whoa, yeah, that's the deceptive hitbox, I guess, uh, it's cause, yeah, see, it, it, it's his idle animation, his idle animation made him duck, but so you can run off and sing, and you can't do it, so here, you can't do it too early, you can't do it when you're right here, here, or else you'll start singing or whatever. Uh, the thing about sing, something I should touch on, is that, like I said, it comes out on frame 29. It comes out on frame 29. And so, uh, you don't stop uh, moving until, like, frame 20 or something. Like, you don't stop moving until partway through. So, you can't run off. You can't run off and then you sing above it, usually, if you have your forward momentum, because then you'll kill yourself. You have to do it right as you leave the ledge. Oh, fuck, man. But yeah, you have to do it right as you leave the ledge, so you can grab the ledge right after. If you try to do it when you're above the ledge, you'll keep moving forward and kill yourself. Because singing needs to stop your momentum. But I usually don't use it when your opponent's standing right here, because uh, usually if you're up here, the opponent's going to want to up air you or whatever from under the ledge, because that's a really safe option. So you don't use it when your opponent's right here. I mean, you can't, you can't really be punished for it, unless if they're in the air and they back air you or whatever. But the safe place to use it, let me put this in the uh, one fourth hold L real quick. It, I usually use it when the opponent is on the ledge like that, right? And so then if I'm like this, I can easily, I usually want to go. Oh, I messed up. Okay, so let's reset it real quick. So usually. Let's set this back up. It's hard doing this by myself, I'm sorry. But so, I want to do it when the opponent's on the ledge, because usually the safest the safest get up option. Oops. Uh, sorry. I'm just using a, a webcam. So it's just sitting on a bowl right now to be higher. But so, yeah. So I'll do this in the speed. So, when your opponent is on the ledge, most people want to do a normal get up or a jumping get up because those are the safest get ups. Uh, usually, doing a neutral get up is better than a jumping get up just because uh, the invincibility is better than whatever. You can't be up smashed or whatever when you get up. Um, so, if we do this, I want to do a running get up and see I can hit him right as you get up, right as the invincibility ends because the hitbox comes out a little before you grab the ledge. So then now that he has him in this position, now it's an easy neutral get up, 
into a rest. It's an easy punish right there. You don't have to worry about them waking up normally because you grab the ledge, you can't get punished with it. You just have to really practice the running. I've only been able to really get this working on Battlefield. You can do it on Dreamland only if you do a sticky walk. Let's see if I can do it on Dreamland. Let's let's go to Dreamland real quick. I'm going to make this video a little longer. Let's go to Dreamland. But uh, Dreamland, you can't do it the normal way because you'll kill yourself. I've tried it a little bit on Smashville, but I, I haven't been... Putting most of my time in Smashville because I believe Smashville is Jigglypuff's worst neutral stage. But so if you do a running in the sing, uh, oh well, that was weird. Usually I kill myself on Dreamland. Yeah. So I the distance is different. Oh wow. Okay, I didn't kill myself. That's interesting. That's because Dreamland is higher, so you won't kill yourself with sing usually. But uh. I think it's because the the bottom levels are higher, so you have more to fall. But you can get it you can get it to work. It's just harder. It's easier to do it for me on Dreamland. I mean on Battlefield. And so I normally just go to Battlefield, even though uh Dreamland is normally considered a better stage to puff, just because I don't know, her up air can be short hopped and hit. And that's really good. It's uh her safest option. So it's really good for poking. I think it's uh, two full hops to hit this one. Or you can do short hop and then a full hop. But no, sorry. But yeah, runoff sing. You should go and test it on more stages. It's definitely an interesting thing. I've hit it quite a few times. And it's a really good mix-up. Don't do it too often, though. Or they will do a jump and get up and up air you when you try to do it. But that's what I try to do. Oftentimes, I do this. Uh, I start to run off and after I use it already. So, so you need a condition. You can't just use this all the time. Or else it won't work. So you can condition them with it, or you can condition them to do a normal get up, so you can hit with it. You can do either or. And there's some very tricky things you can do with this. Oftentimes, I like to do it once early in the match, and if I mess up, then they'll be like, "Oh wow, that's an option she can do." And so later on, I'm up here, they'll, they'll instinctively go, "Hey, I need to jump and up air her or whatever," and I'll run off and I'll do a nair, and that can set up for gimping and whatever and kill them in the blast zone but yeah that's pretty much it that's runoff sing if you have any questions or you find out more things about runoff sing or you have good videos of using it on other stages make sure you hit me up with that just try to push the puff meta guys thank you so much for watching and with that jiggly out